Hello and welcome to this video on dividing fractions. Now I'm going to cut to the chase and just tell you the method straight away. All you need to do when you divide fractions is turn the divide into times, so it's a multiplication of fractions instead, and you need to reciprocate, and by reciprocate I mean flip the fraction upside down, and you need to do that to the second fraction. So let's give you this first example. We've got two thirds divided by half. All we need to do is we need to turn that divide into times and we need to reciprocate, i.e. flip the second fraction. So we've now got two thirds times and then it's two over one instead of one over two. And from the previous video we should know how to multiply fractions. So we just multiply the numerators, two times two is four, and we multiply the denominators, so three times one is three. So we just get four thirds. What about the second one? We have 5, 6 divided by 10 over 3. As before, we keep the first fraction as it was. We turn the divide into a times and we flip, reciprocate, the second fraction. So we've now got 3 over 10. So we multiply the numerators. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 6 times 10 is equal to 60. And then we could simplify that fraction. We could divide top and bottom by 15. So 15 divided by 15 is 1 and 60 divided by 15 is 4, so we get a quarter. You could have also, at this point, done cross-cancelling, if you remember, um, that you can diagonally divide. So the 5 and 10, you can divide both by 5, so replace the 5 by 1 and the 10 with 2. And then we can diagonally divide this way as well. The 6 and 3, we can both divide by 3, so the 3 becomes 1, the 6 becomes 2, and then it becomes a simpler multiplication. We've got 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4. OK, what about the next one? 3, 4 divided by a third. Now, notice this time that that's not a fraction. We've got a mixture of a whole number and a fraction. And remember, all we need to do is just write that as 4 over 1. 4 divided by 1 is 4, isn't it? And now it's a fraction. The divide we turn into a times, and we flip the second fraction. So we just get 4 over 1 times 3 over 1. 4 times 3 is 12. 1 times 1 is 1, and don't leave your answer like that. 12 divided by 1 is just 12. What about the fourth one? 5 sevenths divided by 3. Now again, we've got a whole number here, so we can just write that over 1, which means we can now flip it. So, we've got 5 sevenths, keep that as it is, turn the divide into a times, and 3 over 1 we flip to get a third. Do you remember that the reciprocal means 1 over something? So if I have... 3 and I want to do the reciprocal, that would just be 1 over 3, so we can instantly get that. And then multiply the numerators, that's 5, multiply the denominators, you get 21, and you can't simplify that any further. Question 5, we've got 1 and a half divided by 3 and a third. Now we've got mixed numbers this time, so the way to do this is just to convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions first. Now, you may remember that you just do 1 times 2 plus 1 to get the numerator. So 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So it's 3 over, and you keep the bottom number as it is. Divided by 3 and a third. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, so the numerator is 10. And then you use that as a denominator. And then we can do our usual thing. We keep the first fraction as it is, turn the divide into a times, and 10 over 3 we flip to get 3 tenths. So 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 10 is 20. And the very last one, question 6, we've got 7 divided by 2.5. Now we can write the 7 as 7 over 1. I'm still going to keep this as divide, I'm not doing the flip yet. And 2.5 and I can write as 5 over 2. And at this point I can change this to a time. So it's 7 over 1 times by, that would be 2 over 5 because we flipped it, and then 7 times 2 is 14, over 1 times 5 is 5. And if you want to convert that back into a mixed number, well, how many times does 5 go into 14? It goes in twice, but remainder 4, so it'll be 4 over 5. Now, I want to finish by just quickly proving why, when you divide A over B by C over D, that turns into A over B times by D over C, where you flip the second fraction. Now, do you remember that a division could just be thought of as a fraction? So we've got A over B divided by C over D. 
Now, we don't like fractions within fractions, so we want to get that over B inside the numerator, and we want to get rid of that over D. So what we can do is we can multiply top and bottom by B and D. Now, if we multiply the top fraction by B and D, multiplying by B gets rid of that over B, and then multiplying by D gives you AD. So we just have AD at the top, and at the bottom, multiplying this by D gets rid of the over D, and then multiplying by B gets you BC. So we have BC at the bottom. But we could write that as A over B multiplied by D over C. Because can you see, if I multiply these fractions, I get AD at the top, which I do, and I get BC at the bottom, which I do. So you can see, therefore, that's a proof that we can turn the divide into a times and we can flip the second fraction. And I can put a little box at the end to say, my proof is complete.